All right. Another live. Another live. Let's get it set. Let's get things working. Give you guys a chance to tune in. Tune in. Hopefully you have the notification bell set. So when we do things like this, it'll ding. It'll send you a message. It'll let you know. <clears throat> you might need to turn that chair or the camera just slightly to your direction. Okay. Close off some more from here. Hey guys, I can we can barely see comments on the phone. We got we may have Jess run the computer on the side. Hopefully, um, hello family. Can't see the first. Oh, we already have ten people on. Belinda Barks. Oh. We've got Rosa Wait. Cool. There we oh, go. No, excuse me, Ross Wait. I can barely read that. I need glasses. Morning, good. guys from Ireland. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> I may need to get my phone because uh, maybe this will work. Right. Good morning, good morning. Look, there's an Oxford, England. Sorry, I can't read the names from this distance. As soon as we get the computer up and running or the secondary device, then we'll be able to interact more with the comments. So we're getting it going here, getting it going here. Oh, <clears throat> morning, guys, from Scotland. Good morning. It's lunchtime here in Missouri. Yep, oh, yep, yep. It's almost lunchtime here. <laughs> it takes, yeah, it's nice. It took so long getting going this morning. It's a Saturday. A lot of sugar there, John and family. Oh yeah, you see all that sugar there. <laughs> it is. We've we've been uh, one of these cereals we've had for a while, and then the others we just got them. So we figured let's just do them all at once, do it live, mix them all, together. get them out of the way, be done with them. James got plans to mix them all together. Good grief. Sorry guys, can't stay. Grubs ready. Bye for now. Thanks for chiming in anyway. Appreciate it. Oh man, those comments are coming in quick this yeah, morning. Yeah, they are. You got to get up and running over there, Mama. Belinda's already been to Walmart. It's five thirty p.m. here in the UK. All right, I think I got it now. All right. So, for you to be on, you need to sit scoot for back. Jimmy. Scoot over a bit. Let Mom come in. Like I think I'm okay right here. Good. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, don't drop those on the floor now. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Stay. All right. So you can see comments now? I can. All right. We are good. Yeah, it's 5.30 p.m. in Oxford, England. Nice. Uh, let's see. Paul Moran says he needs strong shirt. <laughs> Somebody suggested he add boring to that list. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, if they sold it that way, I'd probably wear it too. I mean, I can be pretty boring. Boring's not bad. <clears throat> Only boring people get bored, and I'm never bored. That's not me. Joanne, you watching the rugby? I need your shirt. I see Lori Riley's in Mobile, Alabama. She's on lunch hour at work. Nice. Let's see, we got a Hey Guys from Doncaster. All right. In England. I was like, I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> probably putting too much emphasis on the C. Yep. There you go. The third member, Tenacious D. <laughs> Let's see, we've got 12.30 p.m. here in Ontario, <clears throat> Canada from cool. Instant Pot Dad. Ooh, do you have a channel, Instant Pot Dad? I love Instant Pot. I think we follow, don't we? Maybe. We'll have to make sure. Alex L. says you have some awesome shirts. Thank you. You said it right, whatever you said. Okay, good. Doncaster. See, I can see the comments on my phone, but I can't read the, the names. It's not highlighted now. Yeah, the names are like gray. They're grayed out. the comments are white. So the comments stand out, but the names don't. So. And they're on like a black background. Yeah. So it's extra hard to see the names. Hmm. Awesome. Is it white or white? And, or Ross. And I saw any big plans for the weekend. Um... You guys need to. Uh, you guys. We need to eat eggs and bacon because it's five thirty p.m. in England. <laughs> um, wait, okay, Ross, wait. Thank you. We're actually gonna go pick up a couple of new rats today. Yay! Yay! Um, you guys may have seen the the one we adopted in the cheese video. We we unveiled it and 
um, showed you guys. And we're going to get more. <clears throat> yeah. That's what Dad just said. They wanted more, so it, it's time. Everybody says you can't have just one rat. It will get lonely. So we're going to get a couple more so it'll have some friends. Because she's old and she needs, you know, friends. What did Instant Pot Dad say? He says... He does. He just started it and just learning the YouTube thing. He's on Facebook as well. We will check you yeah, out. Yeah, we'll definitely check you out then. Thanks for tuning in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's talk about this real quick uh, before something happens. And maybe we don't even exist anymore. You never know. Um, YouTube is cracking down big time. Um, the way... The best way to describe it is, unfortunately, they're cracking down on channels with children. Yeah, and we list ourselves as a family-friendly and kid-friendly channel. So because of that, we're suffering because of the weirdos in the world is basically what it boils down to. The weirdos, the creepers, the, the pervs, the, the they're starting to interact with too much YouTube, and YouTube doesn't like it. Yeah, too many inappropriate comments being left on videos. No. We personally, as a family, have tons of safety nets, mm -hmm. tons of oversight. We have never really had any issues with anything like that. We get the rude comments. We get people being vulgar. We, you know, that's 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 all normal. Right. But as far as the the over the line stuff towards children, we've never experienced that. No. But YouTube has taken it upon themselves to monitor things extra much for us. Yeah. So we woke <clears> up this morning with. Comments disabled on all of our videos. We have over 600 videos. What? And they turned off comments on every single video. And we love comments. We love hearing what you guys think of videos, yeah. good and bad. Right. We like being corrected on our pronunciation. Right. We, the interaction's awesome. We love it. We do everything we can to, to at least like and, and heart positive comments and interactions. Like that's, We take pride in making that effort, too. Darn it. Hold on. <laughs> and yeah, Paul Moran, it is our choice whether or not we allow our kids on YouTube. Right. It, to me, it's no different than allowing them in public. Right. People could take pictures of our kids in public and do what they choose with those pictures. You, you, I can't prevent that. You can't live your life in a bubble. You safeguard, you do your best, you, you educate, and you live your life. You can't live your life in a shadow hiding because of the possibility of negativity. You can't do that. You have to push forward. You have to live. You got to keep going. Right. And so we have safeguards. Like I said, we have these kids have never ever read a comment that we haven't showed them. Right. Or told them. They don't have access to things on our channel, like the the background stuff. They don't see that. They can watch it, but they they don't have access behind the scenes. Uh, we have filters to prevent certain words coming through on comments. So right. if you leave a comment and you're like, why didn't that ever show up? It's probably your language. That's why. We have every, almost every bad word imaginable <laughs> listed. But then there's still some that make it through, unfortunately. But that's life. And what do we do? We deal with it. We handle right. it. We move on. Not the end of the world. So what YouTube is doing right now is really, really cracking down on, uh, ultimately, channels with kids and families. Right. Because they're trying to tighten the security net around them. But unfortunately, families and, and kid channels are suffering because of it. Right. So, Joanne says, what does this mean for our grant channel right now? Not a whole lot. We've been able to fix the comments. I was able to mass turn them back on. Yeah. I didn't so have to go through individually. Comments have been turned back on. And as far as I know, all of our videos are still being monetized. Everything is green on our end and positive. I'm just floating it out there in the fact that we have children in our videos and a lot of them, like some stuff we could do without us. The whole point of this was family and kids. And someone else just said, hello, family, and I can't see anything. Sorry. Um, that's, I mean, that's the whole point of our channel. So to, to lose the children aspect of it would really, really suck. I don't know if that's the ultimate end game. I don't know if that's the path we're fully on. I don't know. All I know is that a, a big step was taken this morning for us to have all of our comments disabled. Yes, they're back, but that just means YouTube is grabbing. They're, they're grabbing. They've got their hands on, their eyes on. And I, ultimately, I, I guess if it if it if they find a way to keep the creepers and the weirdos out, so be it. Right. But how are you going to do that? 
How, I, 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 you know, gets, get, imagine, imagine being at Disneyland. Any any giant mall, mm-hmm. and, and going, you know what? We got to find a way to keep every weirdo out of here. How would you do that? How would you know who's who and what's what? You can't clean the world. Right. Ultimately, there's going to be that element always. Yep. So hopefully nothing comes out of this, but I just wanted to talk about it because it's fresh. It's in the news. It's happening now. And I feel like if we had people posting inappropriate comments that somehow got through, I feel like our fans, our people who are with us all the time, would jump all over them. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's been plenty of times where somebody has said something mean or derogatory, but not necessarily vulgar. And you guys have defended us. We're not going to do that. We're not going to jump in and go back and forth with people. If their comments are bad enough, they get held because of words and whatever. If it gets through because they didn't use a bad word, but they're still being jerks, you guys can handle it. We're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna go back and forth. We love when watching when you guys defend us on things. It's awesome. But ultimately, I'm not gonna worry about it. We just we got to keep having fun and, and rolling exactly. forward. Ross says, yeah, we would. Nasty people say nasty things because they are nasty themselves. Not that any of you have done anything wrong. Exactly. And Paul Moran says, what if I promise to curse in Gaelic? Then it'll go right through and you guys would be the only ones to know. (laughs) You know, I I was looking up when I posted the Scottish (laughs) Fallen in the Kilt video. I was trying to find a good Scottish word for falling. I couldn't find one, but I did find a list of all the bad words. <laughs> she found a list of other good stuff. All right. So I think that's it. I think I'm done on my soapbox. It, it just bothers me. Like, uh, that's my thing. You can't live life hiding in the shadow. There's going to be weirdos that you're going to always have that. Yep. you got to live your life. Do your best to protect and to, to teach, but you got to live your life. you got to move forward. That's my theory. Right? Agree. All right. All right, let's eat some cereal. <clears throat> yeah, done with that. Yay. So much. Sorry. <laughs> Ross says he'd defend us because <clears throat> we've always been helpful, supportive, and nice. There you Thank go. You. And Alex L says, I like it's family friendly. There aren't many channels like yours, and it's the reason why I watch. There's a ton of food channels out there, but the, the family aspect is is our thing, and right. that's that's important to us. Let's see. Ross Waite says, Scottish word for falling decked. Decking it means falling down. Dang it. Now I might have to go retitle that video. <laughs> See how easy that was? Should have asked you guys to start with. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> we do have some stuff to do today. We're going to go get more rats, like I said. So we're going to head out for the day soon. Great. It is breakfast time. I know this is a lot of sugar. I understand it's not a healthy breakfast. <laughs> I get it. This is uh, not a typical breakfast. We don't usually bring out four boxes of cereal like, to I, I am chubby. I get it. But we've had a couple boxes of cereal for a little while, and then there's some new ones that we wanted to do. So we figured a nice little breakfast cereal, cereal breakfast time, chatting with you guys, knocking out some of these taste tests before we get started for our Saturday was a good idea. Exactly. You guys loved the last live one, and it did really well, and we enjoyed doing it too. So I like more of the instant interaction. Yeah. I try to comment on as many or respond to as many comments as possible, but that takes a while. Yeah. This way I can just talk right back and forth. Ian says he has 10 varieties of cereal in his pantry. That's, that we, sounds like ours. You know, it's funny because when before we started YouTube, we I mean, we'd have cereal, but it was off-brand, and it was like one bag. And now it's like, because we're doing it for reviews, it's the name brand stuff, and it's, you know, it's like... Right. And we have like 20 boxes. Yeah, there's like four or five, six, like eight or nine boxes easily. Yeah. And it's funny because some of them will sit there till they're stale, and then the chickens get them. Yeah. They don't go to waste. They feed somebody somewhere. Let's see. Janet Dolphin says, I love your channel. The children are adorable <clears throat> and very well-mannered. I, too, would always defend you all. Far too many haters in the world. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. It's not breakfast without bacon. Agree. I am not. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing yeah. at all with that. I want bacon right now. Yeah, I'm thanks sure. a lot. Now I'm craving bacon, and there's <laughs> absolutely nothing I can do about it. Yeah, sorry. I don't have bacon right now. <laughs> I have to have a... A bacon breakfast. Oh, good grief. All right, so open a cereal. All right, let's eat a cereal. Let's... Oh, just yeah. like a bacon mukbang. This like, would be just the bacon. best thing if um, crack um, bacon up and put it in cereal. 
What if you had bacon hold, cereal? Hold on a second. You know there's a new ba maple bacon cereal and a chicken and waffle cereal coming out next month. I saw the chicken month. and waffles, but I didn't see maple Where bacon. Where did you see? Yeah, on a picture? Yeah. Okay, you didn't see it in the store? No, not in the oh, store. Oh, <laughs> you, you saw it in the store didn't buy it. That's the problem. But there is a maple bacon cereal coming and chicken waffles. It's in that same, uh, same time. Okay. Yeah. All right, so first step. Jess still had a comment, so yeah. feel free to... <clears throat> this is General Mills brand Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. So I we hesitated churros. buying this one at first because Cinnamon Toast Crunch is already cinnamon and sugar. Right. But it was so. recommended several times. Um, I can't remember who said it most, I don't remember most recently. Was it Belinda? It might have been Belinda. Yeah, she said she was wondering about this one. Okay. And like it, it was one of your last comments that I saw that was like, you know what, let's do it and let's do it as part of a whole giant thing. Oh, buddy. And so, so they are shaped like little churros. <laughs> They're super cute. Here, pass one this way. I want to try it. I want to try it, please. Don't get the cinnamon sugar in the computer. So I like to try the cereals both dry and with milk. I got more than you guys. These are dry. <laughs> they are extra, super dry. Extra crunchy. No, no. No, no. They remind me of the churros we got in Mexico that were like day old. Yeah. No. We got a lot to try. That is way too much for yeah, the hand. Sorry, give him more than. We got three other boxes of cereal, man. <clears throat> What's me milky? When are we trying more UK snacks? Um, do we have more UK snacks to try? We have, uh, yeah, there's one more round. One more round of snacks. Of sugar and stuff. And I'm thinking of a recipe for Wednesday. I'll have to send you bacon crisps. What are bacon crisps? <laughs> like chips that are bacon flavored? Or bacon flavored crisps? Ross, I wish you could send us a big Scottish <clears throat> banquet too. That would be awesome. Jess just emailed a company yesterday or two days ago trying to get the fixings for a proper Engl uh, English breakfast, a proper fry up. Mm -hmm. So, and they have all the components. So, hopefully, mm -hmm. they'll contact us back. It's the same company that's um, distributed the Burt's crisps or chips to us, right? They said yeah. chips. So, let's see. Ross Waite says, Did you try the haggis chips? Yes. We had the haggis ones. They were the ones that split open. Yeah, they busted open, but we were able to... No, 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 no. Haggis chips. I think we had a full bag of those. They were delicious. I think so. Yeah. I like the haggis, but we also liked the canned haggis. Right, the haggis was good. I like the seasonings in there. It's really good. We got a lot of talking amongst each other in here, too. Good. Going back and forth on what foods they like. Let's see, we had a high from Glasgow, England, uh, excuse Scotland. me, Scotland, and then nice English breakfast, hmm, be right back, gonna get some cereal. <laughs> I really like these. I like them. I them all the cinnamon falls <clears throat> off as soon as it goes in the milk, and then you're left with a cereal that tastes like nothing. These were good dry, a little bit crunchy, but in the milk they suck. I'm I'm not <clears throat> I'm not a fan. You measure I huh? These are ours now. Thank you. Although I should clarify, I'm not a big cereal fan anyways. Dun, dun, dun. Bacon fries. Bacon fries sound interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> Food from Norway. We had, did we have a snack crate that was Norway? Or was it? For the Netherlands. Netherlands, that's what it was. I knew it was an N. But not specifically Norway. Would love to try some food from Norway. Give us some suggestions. This is Iris Luna Moon. Like we were saying last weekend, these, the foreign, and again, we never mean any disrespect by saying foreign food. Someone jumped on us the other day. You know, we're, for, we're foreign to you, you're foreign to us, but we're really not, because blah, 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 blah. We mean no disrespect by saying foreign food. It is foreign to us, and that's the whole right. point of trying it. But we would love to t every week to have a different country 
a different part of the world, a different state, even in the United States, there's regional stuff. Like, we, we want to try it all. That's the point. That's my goal. stuff from the New York City. Right. New York City. <clears throat> yeah, that's where He doesn't know that commercial. Yeah, I could do that. <clears throat> Alright, so, scale of 1 to 10. I'd give these a... 4. I would I'll go lower. I'd give them like a two. A ten? I'll give them a five. A ten. They're just boring. <clears throat> no, they're not. But good. What next? Um, you guys pick. We've got <clears throat> the front one. Peeps. There you go. Which one next, guys? This one. No, not this one. No. Oh, Paul. He says, get some <laughs> stir stroming. I think that's from Norway. Yeah, Um, we... The the, Disgusting disgusting Food Museum last weekend. She did attempt to eat surf strumming. Yeah. And it didn't work. We (laughs) smelled it first. It was available to smell. You could smell it from the other side of the room. Yeah. I put it in my mouth and... Came right back out. Yeah, it was not happening. All right, so what do you guys say? What should we try? This one, this one, or this one? This one. No. Yeah, that's the oldest one. Let's do that. All right, so we have Captain Crunch Chocolatey Berry Crunch. Did you get it on video? Absolutely. I would have even smelt that stuff if I wasn't putting it on video. (laughs) The stuff I do for videos is insane. Yeah, that is true. The 90% of the, all the spicy stuff, I wouldn't be doing any of this stuff if it wasn't for a channel. My goodness. <clears throat> we'll have a... Maybe tomorrow. Quite possibly. Or Monday. So so Sunday or Monday will be the Disgusting Food Museum uh, the, the video. How sick was that? I wasn't sick. But it, it really... If I tried to swallow it, I think I would have been. It was bad. I didn't attempt it because I knew by her reaction that I would have lost it, and I really didn't want to puke in that museum. Yeah, he's not a seafood eater to begin with. Have you got a Discord channel yet? I We do not have the Discord. That's good. Okay. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Belinda says that she appreciates it, all you do for the channel. Can I have more milk? Yes, yeah. we're going to pour new milk soon. I'm just using my old milk. Let's see. Oh my gosh. KJS Chucky says, Americans aren't foreign. You're like Australians and South Africans. You're our cousins. Watch your spoon. The Random J says, I love your channel so much. Thank you, guys. Do they smell so no. good? Yeah, you don't need any more milk. All right, so next after this one... Oh, you forgot to try some plain. I did. Oh. Mine aren't all wet yet. Mmm, that good. berry bite was good. Mm-hmm. So, this is what's up right now. This is where we're at. So, this one's a bit old. It was closer to Valentine's Day. This one is out. This one was from Target. Um... Uh, no, I bought this one at Walmart, but it is available at Target also. The other three were all Walmart, uh, Target, right? Yeah, I think. But it is still available. So it's supposed to be, what did it say? Chocolate it's raspberry? Chocolate berry. Chocolate berry. <clears throat> just Not a specific berry, just berry. And it is limited edition. I mean, it, you get the chocolatiness, you get the berryness in there. You still get that classic Captain Crunch flavor profile, too. I like the texture of these better than the last one. They're yeah. a little bit more airy. Yeah. Um, I don't personally get much chocolate flavor. Neither I get the berry. I was wondering if the... If it was like an equal ratio of the chocolate pieces to the berry pieces. Because my bowl is mostly berry. Mine was two. That's kind of weird. Mine was three. Tell me what. 
This was first. This was I like this one better than the churros. Yep. Because it doesn't lose its flavor in the milk. Agreed. The chocolate's super subtle. Like, I get almost no chocolatiness. But the berry's a good berry mm -hmm. flavor. But there's already not? berry Captain Crunch. So it's like, mm, kind of pointless to me. I made a smiley face in my That's mouth. That's a good point. Like you already have right? very Captain, I mean, Captain Crunch berries. What it smells? So they just took the red ones out of the Crunch berries and put it in this one and added some chocolatey ones. Hi, Allison. She says good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Paul <laughs> says, um, make the vlog Monday, please. Ireland's playing Italy Sunday, so he'll be very busy <laughs> and hopefully a little intoxicated. <laughs> On well, that trip to L.A. where we chimed in last week with our live feed, we ended up with three separate videos out of a 24-hour period. Mm -hmm. So we got the Disgusting Food Museum. We have just general around Hollywood, um, some celebrity homes. And then I got a little food challenge out of it as well, well, as well while we were there. So. All right, do Frosted Flakes next. All right. And I'll even try this one, even though I hate banana. All right. You're, you're gonna love this one, aren't you? Frosted Flakes Banana Cream, Kellogg's brand. Like I imagine this will be the least sweet of them, because Frosted Flakes, to me, plain is not a very sweet cereal. Like it's sweetened, right? But it's not sickly sweet. Yeah. There's nothing even in it either. No. No chunks or nothing. Yeah, like no banana bits, and no. No marshmallows. It's just Maybe. the frosting. We've had... What's up? Maybe it tastes like banana. Does it smell like banana? Yeah. You won't like it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to hate <laughs> you this. You won't like that. That smells like I way fake I don't banana. like it. No. Do you say... Mm -mm. That <laughs> smells weird. No, it down. Okay. Paul... Or, excuse me. Ian asked no toys. In the U.S., they no longer put toys in cereal because... What was the determining? It was making kids want to eat too it's, much sugary cereal. You know, there was this thing when, when we were kids growing up where there was toys in, in stuff. And McDonald's had Ronald McDonald. It was a clown. And the restaurants were fun looking. They had this new theory in America that if they make things boring and not as fun and attractive, that it'll make kids eat I'm healthier. waiting for more milk. Yeah, that's not true. Um, so I, that's kind of America right now. Where it's, let's make everything drab and boring, bland. Just a little. Okay, let's see. I need a lot there are no that. dried bananas in this. It is literally just the Frosted Flakes coated with a flavoring, of a sugary flavoring. <clears throat> when you get a moment, look and see if there's any real banana in this. I would highly doubt it. It says natural and artificial flavoring. No. Yeah. I don't hate this flavor as much as I thought I would. It's more of a banana smell than a banana taste to me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, it says it does say naturally flavored with other natural flavors. But <laughs> what? <laughs> milk, milk, corn, sugar, malt flavor contains two percent or less of blah 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 natural so. There is no banana anything in there. And are those other natural flavors? Maybe other natural flavors? Yes. Other natural flavors? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Other natural flavors? Let's see. The random J. Anything that is banana flavored tastes disgusting to me. I'm with you on that one. Like the banana Laffy Taffy. Ew. The worst ever. Those um, are that's like super, the best. super banana-y dry out of the box. They, yeah. Wow. They're more banana-y dry. A little bit less with the milk. But it's not, it's not as bad of a fake banana flavor as the like Laffy Taffy. That is my go-to hated banana flavored item. Mm -hmm. I love banana Laffy Taffy. I'm like the exact opposite. Yeah, I am too. That's me and Maddie. Let's see. Bet it tasted better than the Search Drumming. Absolutely. <laughs> mm. Oddly enough, the... The banana flavor gets toned down, but I feel like they're sweeter once they hit the milk. Right. Yeah. I think because it's banana cream, 
as opposed to just banana. Yeah. It's watered down a bit with mm-hmm. the vanilla and sweetness. Mm-hmm. Well, all the ones that we tried right now, um, yeah. I'm going to give these um, like a 20. A 20? Well, you really like these, huh? Mm-hmm. I like this one too. Nice. Yeah, and no banana. I feel cheated also. It's like, when you were growing up, did you ever take Frosted Flakes and then slice bananas into it anyways, or Cheerios? Oh, that we used to do that. We'd put fresh banana in our cereal. And like, I feel like you'd get better results just doing that. What's, is it the Post brand cereal that was already banana pudding? Banana? I think so. It was similar to Raisin Bran. Nan- Nana pudding? It was, it was Nana pudding. And it had chunks in it. it yeah. Had like marshmallows. The dehydrated? Yeah. Yeah. This one's good. I do dig this one. I like it. <clears throat> Porridge oats mixed with fresh fruit in it. That'd be good. I love oatmeal. And... We'll have to try and find a porridge. Yeah. Belinda Bark says, yes, that's good. Talking about the bananas, I think, in cereal. Mm. Like, I've had it. I just, it just wasn't a regular thing. I like this one. Because it's not horribly strong banana to me. Yeah. All right. Have we tried haggis yet? Yes, we have. Well, we tried canned haggis. So it was missing a few key ingredients. But I really like the seasoning that they add in there. The flavor was excellent. What we can get here is imported. Or we have the can that we had was an import. But because it's America, there was it was missing lungs. Lungs. I don't think we can eat imported lungs. We can't get fresh haggis here we unless cannot. somebody makes it. But we or haven't found important. anybody who makes it. We can't get true authentic from you guys to here. So that's why someday we're gonna like make a trip. Right. We had our friend Stacy and Stewart tried to send us, and they got confiscated. Yeah. Same with black pudding. They tried to send that too, and it got and white pudding. Yeah. And I've seen a can of haggis being opened from, I think, Beard Meets Food. And his looked a lot different than ours. It was like in a casing like it was oh, a little yeah, sausage. Yeah. Whereas ours just came out in one big giant lump of mash. Yeah, maybe we can't have that casing either. Isn't it a stomach? It's usually an intestinal lining or an intestine, yeah. Yum, it's so good. <laughs> you like that one? Jamie's a big cereal fan anyway, so. Yeah. All of these are like top of his list. All right, one more cereal, cereal one, to try. One more. Now, if we try this one, I'm gonna give all of these like a fifty. Wow, his his scores keep going up and up. <laughs> a fifty out of what? What's the highest number you can get? Twenty. Okay, so you're giving Whoa. it a fifty out of twenty. Nice. All right. Extra. It's like turning your speaker up to eleven. <laughs> Your amp. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yes, we want to go to Ireland. We want to go to Scotland. We want to go to England. We want to go to everywhere. Yep. yep. So hopefully, hopefully, someday, we'll be able to put Big John TV on the road. That would be so and, much fun. And travel and do our foreign foods and funky foods live, you know, on location. That would be great. Yeah, get like an OV and travel the world. Kind of like man versus food or travel destination, you know, destination, whatever. And... Expedition, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paul Moran says it should be in casing. Yeah, the can we had was not in a casing. Nope. We opened the can and it dumped out in a can shape. Yep. Uh, yes, it was. It was in a metal casing. Duh. <laughs> not the same. Yeah, it didn't look like a sausage or a hot dog. It was a pile of mash. Yeah. But it was, I mean, it was good. So. We ate it. It was delicious. You're going to fall off your chair? Yeah. Oh. So now, dude. All right, what's left? Peeps? Mm. Yeah. Okay, this is the new, uh, yeah, th- I think this is the newest of the bunch. Family size. Clearly, that's a huge box. That's a. Yeah. It's a pound, one pound, two ounces. Peeps. Oh. Ian says, come try jellied eels. I would totally try oh, that. Oh, I wouldn't. Like, oh, I'm game for it. Marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows, artificially flavored. This is the first 
I think this is the first time this cereal has ever been on the market. This is like brand, brand new. I like Peeps, so <clears throat> I want a lot of it. There's a little game on the back. It looks like Candyland, but it's Peeps. Well, sure enough. We'll have to land. save that. Peeps are one of those things you either love them or hate them, I think. Yeah. Most people hate them. I love them. Yeah. It's sugar. Why would you not? Oh, my lamp. Dude. They do not really want you to get into that. Yeah. Ian says the, the eel looks horrid but tastes great. Yeah, we got to try that. Oh, there we go. Oh, that smells like marshmallow. Straight up marshmallow. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Peeps are okay. I like one or two of them only. And then that's it. And I do like them a little bit stale. Oh. Here, just pour some. Ah, I didn't drop anything. Put it in your bowl. I'm tasting them. Come on. All that digging, you got one piece Come of on. I know, really. Marshmallows are good. Uh-uh. Stop. So you get three colors of cereal. You get the white, the blue, the red, and you get little marshmallows. Oh, and they're cute. They're little, it's a little bunny okay. shape. I think that's a bunny or a peep. Or a deformed marshmallow because all the other ones are circles. Oh, are they? Yeah. That's so funny. I thought this was trying to be a shape, like a little chick, but it's not. It's just a messed up marshmallow. All right. I agree. Marshmallow peeps better eaten stale. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on board with that. I like them gooey. Okay, dry. These perfectly capture the peep flavor. That is so weird. Let me think about it again. I was gonna say you made peeps last. Or you made rice krispie treats last year with, with peeps. peeps. They that were, were good. fantastic. Yep, those were really good. Yeah, Paul, Paul went and found authentic Scottish haggis has been banned in the United States since 1971 when the U.S. Department of Agriculture took first took a dim view of one of its key ingredients, sheep's lung. Lung, yeah. Yep. I, I, yeah, that's what I thought it was. We can't eat lungs, but we can eat heart and kidney and liver yeah. and everything else. Beef. Yes, beef. We can eat beef. So, Dog. well... A lot of some people have their way. Right. <laughs> they'll, be oh. getting, they'll be getting rid of cows then, too. What's up? I don't like this one in the milk. It's getting soggy really quick. Mm -hmm. Like, I can actually hear it soaking up and popping and crackling in it's the milk. It's super sweet when it hits the milk again, too. I don't know. Which, I mean, if it's peep cereal, it's going to be, it should be sweet, right? Have a nice day. Thank you, thank you. Same you. came across your channel yesterday, and I think I've watched a year's worth of videos since then. I'm from England and love the British comparison videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you. We plan to. Yeah, we've got a ton of videos. 600 and something. Yeah, over 600. Over 600. At least five to six videos a week. Sometimes as many as mm, 10. Let's see. Ian says he's old school. He's tried them all. Even pigs, trotters, and brine. Ooh. Is that like pickled pig's feet? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know about that. I'm not a fan of pickled meats. Because you've gotten some sausages before that were pickled sausages, and I didn't care for yeah, them. They were horrible. <laughs> it was a bad texture to me. Okay. This, this cereal was delicious to me. This was my least favorite. I don't like it that much, but I still ate it. Okay, go with the okay so it, my cereal list would go um, the Frosted Flakes is number one. Yeah, is the, the Berry Crunch is number two. This is three, and then the Churros are number four because they they weren't that great. No. Yeah. Like they they did a good job of capturing the like vanilla marshmallow flavor, but I. I just don't really like this one. It is so good. But I think I'm biased because I'm not a big cereal fan. <clears throat> so I, too, would go banana cream. I think I would actually go banana cream for sure. Churros for sure last. 
And probably this one second, and chocolate berry third. Um. What's up? You gonna say what you like best? No, I want to say how much I would like to put this in. Oh, okay. Um. What order or what? What number do you vote this one as? Um, fifteen. Fifteen out of what number? Out of twenty. Out of um, fifty-five. 15 out of 55. You realize so that's, that's a fail, right? Yeah, that's really, really low. Bad. That means it was horrible and you hated it. I love it. <laughs> then you need to give it a 50 out of 15. A 50 out of 50. <laughs> so they're all, I think they were all good. I don't think any of them were absolute garbage. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch ones were a bit odd. Um, it didn't quite hit as well as I thought it would. Because they're just Ask the kids right. to name a state without the letter... A. Can you name a state without the letter A? I got two. Maddie's pretty good with states. I got. Does Texas have an A? Spell really. it in your head. A. Dang it. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got two in my head. Yeah. Texas. No. no. What is it? Is Oregon one? No. No. No, you were right. Oregon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Washington. No. Wash. Wash. Yeah. No. Um. What do you got? Come on, come on. Oh, I've got three in my head now. What is it? <coughs> All right, John. You name one. New York. Okay. Connecticut. Missouri. Ohio. I know one. What? Alabama. Uh, America has two A's. Got it. I'd love to send you some English foods that you haven't had. Different things. Any other? Oh, foods? Easter eggs from the UK. What are East? I mean, like, what would Easter eggs be considered? China. <laughs> like, China. We that seems like so a weird. silly question to ask. What are Easter eggs? But, like, Easter eggs for us are dyed eggs. Right. Or plastic eggs. I watch a lot of channels, and you are the only. On the replay. The oh, fit. that replies. Yeah, we're the only ones that reply. We try. Apart. We really, really do try. I think it's important. I, I Now, you know, when we have 2 million subscribers, that might not be possible at some point. But I think it's important. You guys take the time to watch and comment. Right. At the very least, I'm going to like and heart your comment. Mm -hmm. Unless you're a jerk and then I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. we got to come <clears throat> to Wales. Oh. So Easter eggs are the chocolate eggs, or the hollow chocolate eggs. Okay, yeah, those are delicious. Yep. We would take those for sure. We have some varieties of those here. Um, recently, they've been doing the name brand candy bars as eggs, eggs yeah. at Easter time. So, so I've had peanut, Oreo and Snickers butter and Butterfinger. And we get Cadbury cream eggs here. We had some last year. Yeah. Or was it Halloween time? Cadbury oh, Easter eggs. They're yeah, we did. We did. And they were get like some... green inside. Yes. Those were good. They taste just the same as here, really. Yeah. He's gonna be jacked up on sugar for hours. <laughs> <laughs> See, Paul said one of the things he loves about us is that we respond. Yep. I like I like the interaction. Yeah. It's better than just talking to myself. I did hear recently though, and this does make me a bit paranoid, of a channel. Um, associated with this is how we bing them, the Binghams. Um, their brother had a channel shut down because YouTube, they think, that they, they started the channel and on the first video they got like 900 comments and he literally went through every single one because it was their first video and said thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe he was just copy pasting. That may have went, but they got shut down. The, the whole channel got wiped away That's immediately. So and they, and they appealed it too, right? And they and appealed it, and it upheld. was still denied. And I think they they have come up with the theory that they thought the the bots, the powers that be within the computer systems, deemed it as spam because they a they blew up really quick. They had a channel that started and immediately gained ten thousand subscribers and you know fifty thousand views. Right. And the same comment, boom, 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 boom. Right. This can't be real. So gone. Yep. So I tried to thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Try to change it up a little bit when I'm going through. And he does the thank yous. And 
I respond specifically to comments. Sometimes if it's like more of an involved answer, I'm like, hey, Jess, get, when you get a chance, get to that. Because yeah. whilst I'm working, I can't really do too much. Uh, somebody said, where did the peeps come from? Those are from Target. Yep. Churros were also Target. Walmart did no, not. Walmart did not have these, but Target did. Yes. Um, Frosted Flakes banana cream I've, was Target. I've seen these. I've seen these ones at Walmart. I've seen the churro cinnamon toast crunch at Walmart. So, if I mean, if you can't find it at Walmart or Target, then I don't really know where else to look. Right. Uh, let's see. Lee Porter says, "Have you ever been to the UK? And if so, do you remember where?" Never been to the UK. <clears throat> Um, I I work in genealogy, and I can tell you that my ancestors came from Suffolk. But that was like in the 1500s, so it's a long time ago. So, at some point in our existence, there yeah. has there's been blood in our line that has come from the both of us. But yeah, yeah, we have not. Yeah. I've I've traveled to Japan, and we've traveled in several to several states in the United States, but Japan is in Hawaii. That's yeah. as, as far as I've foreign countries I've been to are Canada. Canada and Mexico. I want to go to Canada. Well, Why do you want to go to Canada, Maddie? Because that's where Finn Wolfhard lives. Yes. <laughs> so silly. Well, let's see. Time? Comments have slowed down a bit. So. All right. Well, maybe this will be a good time then to go ahead and wrap it up and go get on with our Saturday. Oh. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. We do. I use the word pride. We, we, we put effort into this. We mm -hmm. take it serious. Oh, you know what? Waterboy24 had asked oh. uh, about the uh, cereal, the Peeps. Was it any good? Recap real quick here okay. on everything. Super sweet. Marshmallow flavor. Mm -hmm. I liked it. It is what it is. I mean, it doesn't taste like a Peep, no. It's not crunchy like a Peep with sugary, no. But it's fun. It's kitschy. It's bright. It's got a good color. It's got the good vanilla marshmallow flavor. Yeah. Really strong banana smell and taste whilst dry in the milk. The, a little bit weak. A little bit weakened, and the sweetness level kind of bumps up a little bit. Um, but I like these ones. Not horrible on the fakey, fake banana flavor. Right. It's not as super far as strong. fake banana, it was not bad, because fake banana is bleh to me. These ones, um, Captain, Crunch, Captain Crunch chocolatey berry crunch. Um, kind of muted on the chocolate flavor, but it's there. It's just not as strong as it should be. And the berry flavor is similar to what you'd find in the Captain Crunch berries already. Right. So, like, I wouldn't rush out. You probably can't find this one anyway. This one was a little bit... Target still has it currently. Okay. okay. Um, these ones were kind of a bust as far as it's me and, and Jess were concerned. The cinnamon toast flavor, the cinnamon sugar flavor kind of gets washed off into the milk. And then you're just left with the chunk of almost unsweetened right. cereal piece. Yeah. I love the shape. I think it's cool. I think it's innovative. It's different. But you can't really beat the classic Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor. Nope. They're Nothing worth trying if you really absolutely love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Right. To oh, me... You know, hold, 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 I, I might take that back. Because if you really truly love the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor, yeah. you're going to be sad because they get washed off a bit. Yes. And to me, <clears throat> it was a, a ratio issue. You have way too much cereal to the cinnamon sugar flavor. Yes. So that once it washes off, all you're tasting is the cereal. Yeah. And it's just me. Yeah. It's no, good. if they flavored the cereal, then, I mean, it wouldn't yeah, have been so good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, let's see, which one was number one? What's your number one, John? Uh, Banana cream frosted flakes. I'm the same. Which is your number one, James? What are you Churros? Churros. What's your number one, Maddie? Frosted flakes. You know what? I'm actually going to go with Can the I frosted flakes banana cream also. The others were just kind of boring to me. The second for me would probably be the Captain Crunch. Realistically, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy either of these again. But I would buy these again. Yeah. I, I didn't care for the peeps that much. They got soggy too fast. I like the marshmallows. I'm going to pick one more time. Um, That one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> they're all number one for Jamie. No, uh, number 15. <clears throat> so that yeah. means they're really bad. Let's see. Lee Porter says... Is the UK a place you'd like to visit? If Absolutely. so, what would you want to do or try here in Britain? Yes, we want to go. It is on our list of things to do, and we want to do everything. That's very broad, right? Yeah, I mean, I, 
everything we can, as much as we can, as seeing as much as we can. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely eating, trying eating as much as I can. Trying as many foods fresh that we can't get here. So like fresh pies and pasties. And, oh yeah, all these meat pies and these. Yeah. Um, just even a chip Pure shop. Meats. Just just a chip oh, shop. Walking into and getting a fresh. Big old hunk of cod fried oh, fresh that out. Oh, sounds fabulous. Man, wrapped in the, the newspaper like they do and, the, and the, mm -hmm. the vinegar and chips. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely on the bucket list here. Yeah. No Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms doesn't have anything new right now. They've brought out, again, their shamrock ones. But those are those are just a repeat. I yeah. think they brought out their unicorn ones again. I think the unicorns never left. I think uh, they've been really popular. Yeah. Okay. Proper Cornish pasty can't beat it. There is a place a few hours away from here where they have pretty authentic pasties. Yeah. It's a it's Welsh. A, it's a mining community. Um, so back in the day of gold mining and prospecting, um, especially hard rock when you're in caves and mines and whatnot, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they would use a lot of uh, Irish. And Welsh. And Welsh labor. And so then some of those things have stuck. But they, yeah, they have a really, really good pasty shop there yep let's see chocolate lucky charms is where it's at i don't think we've tried that the the problem with cereals is that when we get into the realm of taste testing cereals where do we stop right and then you end up with and then yeah because for a while well, everybody put out a chocolate version right cheerios is like constantly putting out new versions right. there's a million of those that i haven't it's tried it's really hard to go down that road because it, then it's hard to stop and i'm not trying to be a cereal review channel you know so we try to just get the weirdest and the funkiest and the the most ab abnormal. Let's see. Uh, milk just gets very chocolatey fast. Let's see. Lee Porter says, I'm from Yorkshire. <laughs> and you're always welcome here. Plenty of room at mine as long as you bring some treats from yours. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. If you got, you got the ability yeah. to make fire, we can cook up some meat. That's for sure, too. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, this is... It's an interesting, an interesting concept of trying to get to England and yeah. visit. And I can make fire. What? With two sticks? No, with one stick and a rock. You can make a fire with a stick and a rock? Yeah. How do you do that? You just scrape it and then... But then it has to be a special stick, I think. I mean, a You've special rock. You've seen too rock. many other YouTube videos. <laughs> what will we review <clears throat> next? Um, this week we have... What, this is what we do Fridays and Saturdays. We sit down and we brainstorm for the week. We typically have product on hand, especially we still have f uh, food from the fancy food show that we went to. Yeah. So there'll be at least one of uh, an item that's like a bigger item that's more of a, not necessarily a taste test, but it's more like product review and sharing. Yeah. Um, and then as far as, then we kind of try to throw in a, like a cheap one or like a cereal or a candy or whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure right now. We actually don't have anything guaranteed for the week yet. We don't have anything. We don't have our menu yeah, plan for the, the week. Yeah, we haven't decided. Um, We've got several options. Yeah. We've got some candy bars. Saturday morning is where we really start getting serious about planning for the week. I don't like going into Monday morning without having stuff planned out. It makes our week go so much easier and smoother because we both work. So, like, outside of YouTube... Um, so like if we can get it all done ahead of time, that's, that's the best. Yeah, it makes editing easier too. So uh, to answer the question, we don't know what we're doing next. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Have we done a sausage video yet? Um, eating sausage or making sausage? I don't think we've done either. We haven't really done either. We do have a pile of sausages that are Filipino. Yes. Well, you can make them. In the Philippines that somebody hooked us up with at the oh, Fancy Food Show. Oh, and we did show. do um, Johnsonville sausages at one point. Yeah, we did a taste them. test of some uh, spicy and cheese-filled Johnsonville bratwursts. That was, those were good, those actually. Those were good. Oh, and a recipe using them, too. Yeah. I can link those later. I can't do it right now. Uh, let's see. Scotch eggs are delicious, too. Oh, yeah. I don't like hard-boiled eggs, but John ate them at a Scottish, Scottish Games. Games. Yeah. I like they weren't as good, though, eggs. because they were the company brought them in already cooked. And oh, yeah. And, and then, then they really literally, they microwaved it. it oh, was yeah. Like in, 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 in a toaster oven or something. Yeah. And it was like, you need a deep fryer for this. Like, it's supposed to be crispy and crunchy on the outside. Oh, <clears> pork <throat> and apple, pork and pickle, pork and bacon. Those are different sausages because pork and pickle sounds fabulous to me. Although, are you talking like the Branston pickle or are you talking like dill pickles? 
Because I like both. But a Branson pickle in a sausage would be good. Yeah. Mm. See, I like just, pickles I'm still too. stuck on what we're filming for the week. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what are we going to film for? Dude? I don't know yet. Oh, pork and brand snippicle. That would be fabulous. We'll have to make sausages again. Uh, sorry. Keep talking. My bad. <laughs> I just had... I We filmed a video last night that's going to come out today as a bonus video. Oh, yeah. Hour. It's coming out at noon. I think it's what time. You, noon our time. You scheduled it wrong. We'll have to discuss that later. What did I schedule it as? 11 p.m. Oh. Um... We went to uh, Jack in the Box last night. Yeah. Don't tell them. A brand new, We're teasing. <laughs> brand new, a brand new item at Jack in the Box. So there'll be a bonus video after our bonus live stream. We'll have a bonus video either tonight. I'll say either tonight or tomorrow because I'm not not 100 percent yet on when that's coming out. Yeah, I think we should do it later today. It'll be out later today. Maybe in an hour or so. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Kit Kat asked, "Have you tried the most stuffed Oreos yet?" Yes. Yes. A yes. couple, and they couple were weeks very, back here. Very good. Or the fudge covered Oreos. We had the fudge mini thins with the mint. They were delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also suggest getting some name brand and generic and blindfold taste test. Great idea. That has been something I've floated around in my head for a long time, but I I agree. I agree. <laughs> Paul says, you should blindfold the kids, sneak out, and see how far you get before. And then he cut off, so I'm, I'm assuming he means before they notice. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. We could do that before we go to Santa Cruz today. Yeah. Did you just put <clears throat> milk on my Maybe. face? Stop it. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite Scottish game, John? Scottish, like, athletic event game? I'm, I don't know. Is that what you mean? Like, like heavy activity. athletics? Like, my favorite throwing event? I'll wait for. Yeah, Alex L. What what Scottish games are you referring to? What well, I am a, a Scottish Highland, a heavy athlete as well. Um, I competed in those when I was a kid, and then more recently in life. Yeah, I started he said favorite throwing event. Favorite yeah. throwing event. That's a tough one. Um, I do best at the stones, uh, the Braemar and the open stone. Because uh, I have a little bit more experience with those, with throwing shot put in high school. I like that the hammer is fun. The light hammer, especially the light one, because it's really, it is a light hammer. That one's fun to me. I enjoy that one. I think the ultimate, though, is the caber. Um, the caber has the most anticipation. It is. And As it's a the, viewer, it's like, right. will they do it? Will they do it? Oh, right. most of the time. And then, yay, yeah, when and, they and do. It, and it's one of those that, especially when you use the same caber for multiple contests, when you get to the point where you've you've learned what it takes to actually flip it, so when you get up there and you have that in your mind, like I can do this, let's do this. Right. Then it's a lot more fun too. You pick up a, you know, an, an eighty five pound caber that's fifteen feet long, sixteen feet long. Yeah, I think it's sixteen feet. And you turn that sucker perfectly. That's that's a really good feeling. Mm -hmm. Lightweight for distance. I enjoy that one. I don't like anything with the fifty-six pound weights. I hate the <laughs> I hate the weight over bar. I hate the heavy weight for distance. That fifty-six pound weight makes you throw your fat butt on the ground like a rag doll, <laughs> like the video that we shared last week. Because that's what happens. You, you catch that thing just wrong, and it'll knock you down. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Lee says, "Do you guys like to watch TV series such as Game of Thrones or Vikings? What's your favorite TV series?" I like Game of Thrones and Vikings. I'm behind on Vikings. I never started it. It's really good. I like it. I have it's a really bloody. So the kids don't watch that one. Or Game of Thrones. Or oh, Game of Thrones. Oh, they watch Walking Dead, though. That's, that's a good Yeah, one. sometimes they watch Walking Dead with me. I usually preview them first. I have a hard time with television series where I have to keep up with it on a regular basis. Otherwise, you fall behind. Okay, okay, the only two television series that I have finished is Stranger Things and Haters Back Off. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just, like Stranger Things too. We're, our lives are so chaotic usually, and like we're here, we're there, we got this going on, that going on. I don't like the idea of like, oh, seven o'clock Tuesday night, I have to be home to catch a show. Otherwise, I get I get behind. I DVR and then, everything, and then yeah, and that's fine. But then you have to find time to sit down and right. go back, and then you're constantly backtracking. It's like, hey, eh. Game of Thrones. We have to. We would always DVR or mm. or whatever uh, on demand them through our cable service. Because they we can't watch them with the kids even Heck in the house, no. they're so so far beyond the children that 
And then it's really difficult to keep up. Game of Thrones, I've seen every single episode. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Paul Moran says he was in Vikings and Game of Thrones. What? what? That is so awesome. Sweet. That is so cool. <laughs> You'll have to tell us what part you were. Maybe we can pick you out. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do you have a favorite movie? Um, I have one. I have one. What's your favorite movie? Um, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man's or Jurassic anything. Jurassic World. Jurassic World's your I'd favorite. Have, I would have a hard time picking one absolute yeah. favorite, but I'm a I'm a comedy guy. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely like genres of movies. Yeah. I like, like, I like the movies. romantic comedies, but I also like the superhero movies right now. Like, we just saw Aquaman. That was fabulous. Yeah, it was a good movie. Also because you like Aquaman. Yeah, that helps. The kids think that's hilarious. Jaws, the original. Or Close Ooh, Encounters. Oh, those are both really good. Those are solid movies, too. I like Wait, the, have I seen Close Encounters? I uh, like... Bits and Pieces. It's on TV a lot. I like what the, is it about? Like the old... Aliens. It's the one where he's building that mountain... The Devil's Tower Mountain out of his mashed potatoes and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I have one. I was thinking about Mars Attack. Oh, See, that I, one's terrible. I'm, I'm like, I love that one. I'm like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, yeah. 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 Talladega yeah. Nights. Um, that's more of my... I like all the tween movies from when I was a kid, or like a teenager. Like, Never Been Kissed, and She's All That, all those kind of like really terrible movies. Yeah. Me oh, and I had a girls' night just a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. And we watched Clueless. Yeah. Clueless. That's another great one. Lisa's great old <clears throat> Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, see. Back when Adam Sandler was funny. Yeah. Like yeah, Happy when, Gilmore's on. I'll watch that on when TV. When me and Dad went to see um the. You went um, to see Kiss, yeah. Let's see. And that's my favorite song. E.T. Serial. Did you have them when the movie came out? I don't remember. No. If that was when I was a kid, my parents didn't buy cereal like this. Yeah, we didn't have that. We never had name brand anything. Oops, sorry. I have one movie that I like, again, like old Western movies. Yeah. What was that last comment? Uh, Mr. Deeds was good as well. Hmm. That was like on the border. That was almost not a very good one to me, Mr. Deeds. What was that one about? It's where he like inherited money or something. Hmm. Or the... There was a part where, like, his foot froze or something. I Did must not have loved it, because I don't... I yeah, it was it was borderline. It was one of his middle of the pack before mm. he started getting serious. Yeah, yeah. My favorite movie also would have to be The Greatest Showman. That's a good movie. It was a good movie. <coughs> um, um, yeah. All right, what time is it? We're going to get... It is 10.30, so yeah, we should probably get a new yeah. one. What was that we got to drive. <clears throat> what was that new <clears throat> movie that we just watched? Aquaman? No, the... Rampage with Dwayne oh. The Rock Johnson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that one was good. I like some of the old Tom Hanks comics. Big was, uh, Big was a great movie right. when we were kids. I Absolutely. like Tom yeah. Hanks. I like yeah. Splash. Splash is a great movie. Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, yes. <clears throat> my throat's get, My throat's gotten all froggy. We've been talking and eating morning. for an hour and ten minutes, two minutes. Mm, anything else? No, I don't think so, actually. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we'll wrap it up then. Again, uh, we've got yes, well, we, we got a full plethora of cereal reviews. If you're, all of those you were know. delicious. One, two, three, four. And all I'm, four. And I'm going to put on <clears throat> 1,000 on this. So we thank you guys for tuning in. We thank you, thank you, thank you for the continuous support to Saving Private Ryan. That was a, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good Pearl Harbor. Great movie. Yeah, he was naming yeah. other um, Tom Hanks movies. Green oh, Mile, Forrest yeah. Gump, gotcha. Carbon Wren. Yeah, those are all really good. Yeah, yeah but the pool hall movie was so sad. That one was. the puppy. Yeah. Puppy. You're, you're going to ruin your shirt, dude. Um, so let's wrap up. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the comments, for the views, the likes. Thanks for sending us food. Thanks for <laughs> everything. Um, we really, really appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Keep... Uh, I can't keep up Mean Machine with Vinny. Uh, no. Mean Machine with Vinny Jones, not Adam Sandler? I do not know <clears throat> yeah, that one. I don't know that one either. Uh, I think that's it. So yeah. we're going to get on with our day. You guys have a good week, rest of your weekend, wherever you're at. Yeah. I hope your team wins. Uh, Paul's team did win. He said, yes, Wales win. There you go. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a NASCAR tomorrow, I think. All right, don't pay attention to that. Yeah. I'm not a big watching sports fan. Nope. 
Yep. I played sports, but I could never stand watching them. Yeah. Sorry. I've never really played sports. I have well volleyball, <laughs> but I didn't really. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching again. Lord of the Rings, best movie ever. Uh, you know what? Did, I, I've did, only seen pieces. Didn't get into those either. We were. I was a bit a bit behind on the Harry Potter series. Um, I never oh, did yeah. get into and Lord I of finished, the Rings. Oh yeah, and I finished Harry Potter. Yep, yeah, I've done that one. I've watched all of those, but not Lord of the Rings. Uh, I think Harry, I read the first book, but I never saw the movies. Harry Potter is fun. You mean they made a book out of that movie? <laughs> Braveheart, fantastic movie. Yes. What's the other one with Liam Neeson? That's similar to Braveheart. Do you know? Oh, uh, cause I like that one. McGregor? Too. No. No. Rob Roy. There Rob Roy. Yeah, that's, I like that that's one too. A good movie too. I think you they said Rob Roy. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't remember. I saw it. Oh, you cheater! <laughs> oh, you know that was a good one too. <clears throat> oh, my absolute favorite TV series right now is Outlander. That's the best. I read the whole series before they made it into a TV show. Favorite. Lee says you're welcome. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good weekend. Outlander is great. Yes, it is. I've only caught one or two episodes of it, too. He makes fun of me, but I love it. It always seems like a little girly. But. Well, and it confused him, too, because <clears throat> he caught an episode where they were discussing, they were, you know, dressed in period clothes, out hanging up laundry, and discussing Led Zeppelin yeah, and I hamburgers. Was so, he was so confused. That was the most I'd seen, I think, of, every, of any episode, and she wasn't even around. And I'm like, what? Yeah. You're talking to like a big cheeseburger and talking Led Zeppelin. And I'm like, but this... I, but wait, they're dressed in... I, I have no clue. I was totally lost. I'm like, nope, I'm out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's what he was like. What's going on? Wales beat England. Okay. Awesome. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming that's football. I don't know. Soccer. <laughs> football. <laughs> Baseball. I'm Irish, thank God. Rugby. Oh, rugby. Oh, rugby. Okay, yeah. okay. <clears throat> that would have been my second choice. All right, we better hit that button. we got to get All rolling. Right. Thank you, guys. And we'll catch you on the rest yes. of the videos throughout the week. We will continue trying to do these live streams. It just depends on our schedule. We may have to alternate mornings and evenings. I know that will cancel a lot of you and guys like, out. But... subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank Lord you. Lord of the Rings tattoos. Oh, you got to send us pictures. I want to see those. Bye-bye, cool. Belinda. Bye. I'm going right. to push the button. Yep, here it goes. See you guys. Bye.